Today we're talking how to carbonate water at home. All right, so sparkling water, it's awesome. Okay, I love drinking sparkling water. It's a very good treat. It's almost like drinking soda pop. I haven't drank soda pop in a long time. And I think it's largely due to the fact that I'm still having a carbonated beverage, which is sparkling water. Okay, now you can carbonate water at home really one of two ways. You can ferment it, okay, where you basically get yeast to eat sugar and a byproduct is gonna be carbonation, CO2, or you can force carbonate it with a CO2 tank and a, a keg. And there's systems out there that you can purchase, but sometimes they are pricey. So we're gonna go over both ways to do it, how you can do it at home, and then we'll talk about cost as well. So let's first start with the fermenting way. So you can use yeast, and sugar to carbonate it in a mini keg like this. Really, the vessel is interchangeable. You can carbonate it in a bunch of different types of bottles, uh, flip top bottles, or even like beer bottles or those clear bottles. So let's, let's go ahead and try this first. So what I did is I put, I filled this up with water, then I boiled a little bit of ginger with sugar just to give it a little taste and not a lot of sugar, only one tablespoon of corn sugar. Then I added that to this with a quarter of a tablespoon or a teaspoon of dry active yeast. And I let that ferment for two weeks here in the mini keg. And now we're gonna give it a test here. So with these mini kegs, you can get them online. They're about 15 to $20, depending on where you go. Then you also need to get a vented bung for the top here. So let's go ahead and vent it first. You heard a nice hiss there, which means we've got carbonation. And then we've got the spout here down at the bottom. You just pull that out and then you can pour yourself a glass of carbonated water here. Should have a little bit of a ginger flavor. I didn't put a lot of ginger in it. I just wanted to give it a little hint of ginger there. So we've got some nice sparkling water there. Okay, and we can give it a taste. Yeah, I smell a little bit of ginger there. Mmm, it's nice, it's refreshing, and could use a little bit more carbonation. However, it's a quick, it's a really easy way to make carbonated water. Mm, I'm gonna give it another taste here. Oh, it's so refreshing. So that's a really easy way to do this. And again, it's gonna be really cheap. So the yeast you can get online for $3. And then the keg here, you can buy for 15 or 20 bucks. Let's call it 20 bucks for, for less than $25 you can make carbonated water like this and it's really, really easy. So again, you fill it with water, you add some flavorings if you want any, then a little bit of conditioning sugar, okay? So like a tablespoon and then a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Then you let it sit for two weeks and carbonate. Then you put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours and then it's ready to drink. So really quick, really easy and really cheap for less than $25. Now let's talk about kegging. This is gonna be your uh, go-to if you wanna make a lot of carbonated water. If you drink it all the time and you're addicted and you have a problem, you can make the investment and buy this system because it is gonna be, it's closer to over 100. It's gonna be closer to 150 by, every, by the time you're, you're said and done here with the cost. But if you really, really drink a lot of carbonated water, you're gonna save a lot of money over the time that's gonna eventually pay for itself. So this mini keg here is 1.6 gallons, which is about six liters. And I guess I should say that this mini keg here is 1.3 gallons, which is five liters. And I bought it online for $75. And then you've got to buy the ball locks here, which are about 10 bucks. And then these, the tubing here is about a dollar per foot. And then this party tap here, about $3. So you're looking at 80 to $90 just for the keg with the tubes and everything. And then it's $75 for the CO2 tank, but to get it refilled, it only takes $15 
or 10 or $15 to get it refilled depending on where you get it refilled. So for that, we'll call it $75. And then this is about $90, so you're looking at about 170 bucks when, when everything's said and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start carbonating the water here. So I filled this up almost all the way to the top. I'm gonna put the lid on here. Pull up here, get a nice seal. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. almost missed the, the, the ingredients here. So I'm just gonna put a splash of this. I don't really measure everything I have in the past, but what I'm shooting for is about a tablespoon of lemon juice and close to about the same with the lime juice there. Just a, some, a squeeze there. And then I go ahead and put the lid in here. Pull up, push down, ah. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the CO2 tank. Oh, and we went right in there. So usually I prime it a little bit, but we're going right for it. Between 25 and 30 PSI is what I like to go with for my carbonated water here. And at this point, what I really wanna do is let this carbonate for three to five days. But just for the sake of showing you it, I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself a cup here. So with the party tap, you can come over here and just dispense away here. Now this one is really fun because it's just exciting to have it on tap like that and then you can pour it just like that for everybody, for your friends, for your family, for your kids. Mm. Nice refreshing lemon lime. It's almost like soda pop, but it's not. But it, it is a good replacement for that and then the more carbonated you get it, the more it satisfies that urge or that craving for a uh, pop or a beverage of that sort. So there you go. Those are the two different ways that you can carbonate water at home with fermentation or forced carbonation. I'll put everything in the description of this video, links to all of this stuff, and plus a better description on the sugar and how to ferment using these mini kegs here. Really simple really easy and a great way to get your carbonated water at home, save some money and get a new hobby. It's a lot of fun. My name is Drew Smith. You can get more information on home brewing tutorials at homebrewtutorials.com and be sure to check out more information I have about these mini kegs on my channel. Until then, I'll see you next time.